Hey guys and girls, here is your Rage and Nader again, and today I continue Detective Conan and Kin H. Case Files, two great detectives. Two chance account of two great detectives. So that's the title. Uh, the last time we were able to decide which side we want to continue with. Conan's side or Kinichi's side. We decided, or better said, I decided for Detective Conan. And with that, we came into the story. And the whole thing ended with, this, with that we, as Detective Conan, snuck on board of a boat. Even though we should go back to the inn. And were riding on the boat together with Kokoro and uh, Kumara to Sunset Island, the twin island of Twilight Island. And now we continue. Let's go. Yo, you've, we've made it. Let's split up and search for Sunny Sun. Let's return to this harbor after every hour and report to the circumstances to each other. Okay, gotcha. This to left, this to left. I guess I should get off the boat too. <clears throat> hey, how? <clears> hmm. <throat> so this is Sunset Island. The layout is similar to Twilight Island, but after it perished 25 years ago, time seems to have stopped here. That's what it feels like, anyway. I see why it's called a twin island. They do look alike. This harbor looks almost identical to the ferry dock over there. But it is slightly different after all. One a tourist resort, the other a perished island. That's the difference. Let's go somewhere else. Nothing's going to happen if we stay here. But suddenly... But suddenly... An unexpected voice called out from behind me. What the? Where'd you come from? That that voice? Could it be? As I turned in haste to greet to greet that familiar voice, I saw him standing there. I saw his face for the first time. No, I had seen his face before. I remember them clearly now. Those eyes of his. It's him. I passed him on the ferry deck back then. They weren't exactly sharp, but his eyes drew my curiosity. Those eyes seemed to observe me in that moment our paths crossed. I remember clearly now. So, my partner in this case, I ran right by him back then. K Kinaichi? Hmm? Hey, kid. How do you know my name? Hey, kid. Why do you know my name? Uh, your name? What name? You just called me Kinaichi. I I came on the same ferry as you. That's why I heard your name. Hmm, I see. So you came from Twilight Island? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. My name is Itogawa Conan. Nice to meet you. You came on the boat, right? Wow, I didn't know Twilight Island had such a boat. But more importantly, why did you come to this island? Um, I was looking for my lost friends. So I snuck on the boat and ended up here. Could those friends be the detective boys? Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you're on my oh you're one of their friends. Say can age son. Does that mean you know Genter and the others? Please tell me, where are they? To be honest, I don't really know myself. I left them in uncle's care. But we should probably meet up with them soon. They are probably back at the inn. And take me there. I need to meet up back up with them. Before that, I want to ask something. What? W what is it? I came to this harbor to meet someone. Meet someone? Who? 
I don't know his name or face. I've only talked to him on calls. Uh, oh. I was just talking to him using the transmitter earlier. He seemed pretty restless, so I thought maybe he was planning on coming to this island. I wasn't sure how he was going to get here. But I wonder why. I had such a strong feeling he was on his way. Uh, oh, no idea. Ah, uh, he don't know cause this, this someone is standing right in front of him. But he don't know that this kid is actually the same person as he talked to over the transmitter. Oh my goodness. And he has no clue. <sighs> hmm. Oh well. You wanted to see the detective boys. Do you wanted to see the detective boys? Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Move to the end. There's a sunset islands in. The appearance and look and location are just like Tage Banner in. Things around a looking long time are similar to the twin. Hey, what's wrong? Did you find something? N no, it's nothing. Well, all right then. Hey, Kenichi. You're alive. You're alive, Kenichi. Jeez, where were you? Uncle Kinmoji, you're alive too? Yeah, I was able to safely make my way back from the factory. I also brought back the detective boys who were trapped in there. Where are the detective boys now? Hmm, who is this kid? I'm Edogawa Conan. Ah, Edogawa Conan. What a new unique name. He's uh, part of the detective boys or something. Yep, I am. So, where's everyone? Oh, they went to the shrine. The shrine? Why, why'd they go there? To celebrate their new friendship with another kid, Sakashita Yuko. They decided to bury a time capsule. Haha, <laughs> a time capsule. They're taking it easy. But at least they're safe. That's good. Thank you for saving them. Kenmochi-san. Huh? How do you know my name? But because... Kenmochi-san said your name earlier. Hmm, is that so? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I called you Uncle Kenmochi. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it becomes harder to remember things as I grow older. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> well, moving on to more important affairs. More important. Kenaji, when I went to rescue the kids, something bothered me. Something? Bo something bothered you? I wonder what bothered Inspector Kenmoji. Hey, Inspector Kenmoji, what bothered you? When I snuck into the coal mine factory to save them, there was no one there. All those workers I saw before were gone. Are you serious, Uncle? Yeah, I'm serious. The coal miners disappeared? I don't know what's going on. But it looks like this island has problems of its own. Huh? Oh yeah, the landlady isn't here either. Yeah, I am more worried about her. She suddenly disappeared. Wonder where that old lady went. Okay, I have a lot of things to do on this island. First, I have to make sure Ayumi and the others are safe and okay. Well, I'm going to see my friends. No, wait. I was about to go see them as well. Let's all go together, shall we, Kenichi? What? Me too? Obviously, you always leave me alone to babysit. And on the way, tell me what you found. I still don't understand the details. You can't say no. Uh, okay. Okay, let's move to the shrine, then. According to what he said, 
They should at this. They should at this shrine. They should be at this shrine. Hey! Conan! It's Conan! Conan Kuhn! You came to save us, Conan Kuhn! You guys. You guys. Jeez, don't make me worry. Okay, okay. Playtime's over. Now that we've rounded up all the detective kids, back to the inn. Really, coming out here for a time capsule. Uh, oh yeah, tell about that I have big news. Right, Yuko-chan? Yes, we came to the shrine to bury our time capsule. But then we found something serious. Something serious? What is it? Hey, what's wrong? What's the thing you guys found? Hurry up and tell me. You were just making fun of our time capsule. And while you're at it, take back what you said about playtime. Maybe, then we'll show you. Y you want me to apologize? Like hell I will! Haha, <laughs> Kinaichi, why is he taking those kids so seriously? But I wonder what they found. Hey, what did you guys found? find? What should we do? Should we tell them? We can't leave Conan Kuhn out. Yeah, here we can tell. We can tell Conan Conan Kuhn. I don't. I don't even care. Kenaiji, your pretenses over pride are pathetic. <laughs> Kenmoji is right about that. Okay, I'll tell you. We came to the shrine to bury a time capsule. But but someone already had the same idea. The same idea? Rocks had been piled up so we thought it a good landmark. That seemed to be the best place to bury our time capsule. And while digging we found something like a can for snacks. So, y so you're saying someone else had already buried a time capsule he there? Yeah, it seems so. Then the rocks were put there by the previous party. And where is the time capsule? In that hole over there? We felt bad opening it, so we haven't touched it yet. That hole over there then? Okay, well, let's look, investigate. Um, that hole, probably. So, this is the time capsule that you guys were talking about? This looks really old. <coughs> this looks really old. It likely belonged to kids who lived here a long time ago. <coughs> hey mister, try opening it. Let me see, hold on a sec. Heave-ho! Alright, got it open. What's in here? Um, hmm, what is this? Just a bunch of junk. Isn't that normal? It was a group of kids that buried it. Did you think there would be gold and silver? But, wait a minute! There's photograph inside! Let's see, this photo... Toba Mitsuru, Hyuki Ryuhei, Ichinose Keiko, Futaba Hideo, and Mitsui Kyotaru. Wait a sec! These are the people we know as kids! Hyuki, Toba, Ichinose, Futaba Hideo, who is also called Futaba Yu, and Mitsui Ki Kyotaru. Or Twilight Island. Hyuki Ryuhei, Toba Mitsuru, Ichinose Keiko Futaba Hideo Mitsu and uh, Mitsui Kyotaru. This is a photograph of the group that made the time capsule. Hold on, these names sound familiar. Uncle, let me see that picture again. Oh, what's wrong, Kideji? All of a sudden. I knew it! I knew it! It looks like Kineji figured it out. This, uncle, look at this name. This name right here, it says Hyuki Ryuhei. 
Hyuki Ryu Hyu <coughs> Hyuki Ryu Hey, is it that Hyuki? Yeah, that's right. I'm sure about it. And Toba Mitsuru. She's the mother of those two. Those two <coughs> Those two? Those two? Misa and her twin sister. What? Twin sister? What do you mean? Misa's twin sister. Her name is Toba Miyu. Furthermore, Miyu is one of the culprits in the chain of events. She killed Twin Twilight Island VIP Hino Hayato. Hino Hayato. As in Ichinose Keichi. I didn't know Misa san had a twin. Or that she was a murderer. Wait! Hey, look at this girl's name! I know that I know this person named Ichinose Keiko. Ichinose Keiko killed Misa san. Uh, is that uh, is that so? Yeah, Ichinose Keiko used the alias Hamada Ryoku. She worked at the same souvenir shop as Misa san. Hamada Ryoko, who worked at the souvenir shop? Then we've met her before too. So she's the one who killed Misa. That's not a, that's not all. The name is Tsui Kyotaru. The culprit of the serial bombings was named Asami Kyotaru. Mitsui Kyotaru and Asami Kyotaru such similar names. Mitsui Kyotaru and Asami Kyotaru. Wait, if you think of it that way, then this name... What is it, Kinyaichi? What's on your mind? Uncle, look at the name, Futaba Hideo. Doesn't the name Hideo ri ring a bell? In other words, Sunaga Hideo. Sunaga Hideo. He's, he's the culprit of the hit and run case. Yeah. What if this case was also using an al al alias? Maybe this Futaba Hideo is Sunaga Hideo. Yes, now that you mention it, the face and the fo photo looks familiar. Uncle, we're getting closer. Yeah, we're definitely closing in. These five kids in this photo. Hiyuki Ryuhei, Toba Mitsuru, Ichinose Keiko, Futaba Hideo and Mitsui Kyutaru. They all have one thing in common. That is... The kids in the photo, the one thing they have in common is... Mm, they are murderers. Right, the thing they have in common is... They are all murderers in this case, or have some connection to it. Yeah, he's right. Kuramoto Takashi, who killed Sas Sasayama's son. And Sushida Akemi, who committed the murder at the party. We're following Asami's orders, who carried out the bombings. That means the people who planned this chain of events are... These five people. Uncle, you got it. The meaning of Sunaga's words to Hyuki. Uh, Hyuki, sorry, but I'm retiring here. I'll leave the rest to you. Okay. I see, that conversation. Was a conversation among partners. They were all accomplices. Hmm, I didn't know that happened. But that's not all. Uh, Uncle, isn't there something else about their names? Their names? What about them? Hiyuki Ryohei, Toba Mitsuru, Ichinose Keiko, Futaba Hideo, and Mitsui Kyutaru. If you remove Hiyuki and Misa, the three remaining names. Shinozo Futaba Mitsui have the same name as um, the party guests. Wait. Shinozo Futaba and Mitsui have the same name. Mitsui. Mm, Shinozo Keiko Futaba Hideo and Mio. Uh, Shinozo Keiko. 
Keiko Video. No, wait. Ah, victims of 25 years ago. That's it. <sighs> Ichinose Futaba Mitsui. Those names are the same as the victims of the tragedy 25 years ago. That's true. Ichinose Keichi, Futaba Yu, Mitsui Kiyoshi, and Mitsui Kasuko. They share short names with the victims of the tragedy 25 years ago. And you remember right, uncle. About the time when we snuck on into Kichinose Keiji's residence. Hmm? Wait a minute, this toy. If you look closely, there's a name on this toy. It's Ichinose Keiko. Could it be Ichinose Keiji's daughter? I re <clears throat> I remember. Chinose Keiko is Keiji's daughter. Yeah, so these kids in the picture are offspring of the VIPs who became victims in the tragedy 25 years ago. Mitsui Kiyotaru and Asami Kiyotaru. If you think of it this way, the motive behind this case is clear. <clears throat> it's simply to avenge the deaths of, the pa of their parents. They were exciting revenge... They were exacting revenge on those who organized the tragedy. I see, but hold on a second. You're only a kid, how do you know so much about this case? That that's because I was watching Superintendent Akichi while he was uh, investigating. So, so I know a lot of things. As part of the detective voice, I really want to solve the case too. Oh, I see. Kineji doesn't really believe it. I think time capsule children. Photo discovered in the time capsule in the island on the island Kineji is on. Mentions the names Kyukyo Ryohei, Toa Mitsuru, Ichinose Keiko, Futaba Hideo, and Mitsui Kyotaru. With the words or Twilight Island. Uh, anyway, this picture looks like it might be a very important clue. Yeah, it does. Look on it, Kun. There's another picture. I wonder if it's also a clue. Another picture? Ayumi-chan, let me see. Who? Hmm? hmm? The, the brooch this woman is wearing. I've seen it somewhere before. Oh, that's it. The brooch this woman is wearing. It's also from... The Island Bombs. It was on the bombs and not notices in the serial bombing case. Well, okay. Hey, what's the matter? Did you notice something? N no, it's nothing. Oh, this guy doesn't know because he didn't see the bombings. He won't know the significance of this photo. Photo of mom and son. Photo of a mother and a young child discovered in the time capsule. Hey, you guys, what have you been talking about? Yeah, tell us. Secrets don't make friends. Man, you guys are noisy. If you don't keep it down, I'ma leave you on this island. Leave them? We can't leave even if we wanted to. That's not true. There's the boat I came in on. A, a boat? The boat he came in on this, uh, on is in the harbor. If we took that, we could go back to Twilight Island. W why didn't you say this earlier? Let's go back then. No, we can't. We can't. <clears throat> we can't. W why not? I still have things to do here. I need to prevent the last case from happening. Prevent the last case. Well, Kenmoji, you don't know what happened in the last time. Yeah, the enemies of this island were Twilight Island's five VIPs. 
One is still left, right? That's right, Mia and Yuki. He's still alive. If the culprit's aim is to take out the VIPs. Mea Hiyuki must be a target just like the others. On this island, he's said to be part of the tragedy Redux. That's the situation, so I can't go back yet. I understand, then I should help too. But let's return to the end first. We can't leave the kids alone here, either. Yeah, I need to get these guys somewhere safe. We can proceed to the final stage from there. I'm also curious about those two searching for Sanai-san. Back to the inn. Okay, we're here. Now you guys stay here quietly. Alright. Well then, I'm gonna... Wait a minute. Hold on, I have to talk to you. Granny, you're back. Mmm, this kid and your face. And your face? Hello, I'm Iduka I'm Iduk Bakunin. Unlike kids these days, he can actually greet people properly. I'm the, <clears throat> I'm the owner of this inn. Honda Haru, nice to meet you. And what did you, wa did you want to tell us? Ah yes, before I leave this island... There's something I must... I must tell you. Leave this island? Something you have to tell us? I want... I wonder what it is. What could she have to tell us? <clears throat> what did you mean when you said... You were leaving this island? I meant ex I meant exactly what I said. I finished my job here. The... The island has ordered me to leave, so I must go. Did you take this job here in order to pay off debt? You're a bright child. You must know everything, right? That's exactly right. I came to this island to pay off my debt. As a labora who was never allowed to disobey orders. Well, they, they kicked me out of the coal mines. But that job is over. The other coal miners have also left this island. They also all got on the boat that their employer arranged to come. Apparently the people who live here. <clears throat> we all brought here after they were hired by someone. There was someone who thought this all up. So, what did you want to tell us? It seemed important. Just now, a group of strangers came to this island. They all went to the coal factory. Who are they? I just told you, they're strangers. And they're not from this island? No, they're not. I saw their faces for the first time. Say in that group, was there a lady in the f in her 30s wearing a kimono? Yeah, there was a beautiful lady wearing a kimono. I see, that person. It's Sanai-san. Is she at the coal mine? And if there was a whole group, there must be others. I wonder who they are. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. Those people who are walking towards the coal mine factory. I wonder who they are. You're trying to do some research on this island, right? I'd only, I only came here because I was hired, so I don't know anything. But I'm sure there's something going on in that coal mine factory. I'm certain of it. Also, there's one last thing I want to ask you. What is it? You originally told us that this island was called Twilight Island. Twilight Island? Yes, that's what this place used to be called. Lady, is that true? That's what I heard. I don't know whether it's true or not. And regarding, regarding the person who hired you. If I told you, I would be violating the contract. But since it's up, I suppose it's okay. It was probably that man, Hyuki Ryuhei. Hyuki Ryuhei? I see. I didn't directly sign a contract with him, so I'm not sure. 
But the way he looked at this at his lab bars was abnormal. As if he was always observing us. As if we, we were tools. I'm sure he's the mastermind. I feel positive he hired us. I see, I see. Also, I have a favor to ask. Can I leave these kids here? It would be dangerous to bring them there. I'm no longer part of this inn. Do whatever you want. To me, this inn is uh, your inn. If you weren't here, we would never have been able to stay here. Uh, you too. All right, I understand. Leave it. I understand. Leave it to me. Until you get back, I'll stay here. I'll take responsibility for these children. You're really helpful. <coughs> You're really helpful. W wait, all these decisions are being made. At this rate, won't I be trapped here with the others? I gotta do something about that. Hey, kanaichi san I know, you want to come too, right? What? Since you're so familiar with... Since you're so familiar with Trailer Island, maybe it's really not such a bad idea after all. But are you sure this the place where... Where we're headed is dangerous. I don't know if I can protect you. You still up for going? Yeah, I'll be fine. I knew you'd say that. Hmm, what's going on? Why are you two whispering? Uncle, I've decided to take this kid with us. What? This kid? Are you sure? Yeah, I trust him. We won't have to worry. What? How unfair. It's always Conan Kuhn who gets to have fun. Yeah, take us too. You've had enough adventures, haven't you? Just leave the rest to me. The professor and Haibara were worried. Don't be re unreasonable. Unreasonable. F fine. Hey, let's get going. Yeah, I'm coming. Well, please take care of them. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let's go. This is the coal mine factory. It's in the exact same location as Twilight Island's Folk Museum. What's wrong? You've been staring at the factory. Don't tell me you're scared. It's not that. Shouldn't we go inside before it's too late? Yeah, Kinoji, there's no time to make fun of a child. Why are the strangers the landlady mentioned gathering here? Let's go find out. Yeah, I know. Let's find out. Move. So, this is the inside of the factory. Being on this island for a while, we've been to a lot of places. But this is the first time I've been in here. Huh? Huh? The Conan Kuhn. Sanae-san. That's good. She's alright. And you're with this two who were spirited away? Haha, <laughs> that's us. Long time no see. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong, Sanae-san? Why are you yelling? Officer Kumara, he's here too. Oh, if it isn't Conan Kun. Hello again, officer. Then you go back to the inn? Why are you here? Ah, uh, anyway, you were able to find Sunny's son. Did you tell Uncle Marie? No, not yet. Actually, something unexpected has come up. I have to get moving. Something unexpected? Oh, what the heck? Mister, you said that something unexpected came up and you needed to go. What was the unexpected problem? It's a good, it's a good, <clears throat> it's a good thing here. We are, we were able to find Sunny Sun here, but there are some issues. Issues? Sunny Sun is not the only one that was brought to this island. What? 
and all of them were were ordered to come to this factory. They threatened to kill those two those who disobeyed. The landlady of the insulted part. Oh, I completely forgot about Detective Marie. We were supposed to meet at the harbor every hour. I feel bad. Uncle, he forgot about you. Oh, shit. Sanae-san, why are you here? On this island, in this factory. Someone told me to come to the depths of Twilight Island's mine. They said if I didn't come, they would bump my in. So she called Uncle for help. But the moment I got to the harbor, I suddenly became sleepy. They probably exposed you to some sort of sleeping gas. Same as us. When I woke up, I was already at this, at this island's harbor. There was a letter left there telling me to come here. It said that those who disobey will be killed. Besides the boat that we came on, I saw another. They were probably brought to this island by that one. It's a very though rough and well thought out plan. Who is the person who told you to come anyway? He went by the name Higuri. That was the same person that summoned me. That Higuri. He's the one that was behind the murders at the party. Asami Kyutaru was his name. Asami Kyutaru? What does she want? After, after hearing your story, there's something that caught my attention. Who are the other islanders brought here? What, why bring them here? It's most likely because... <clears throat> we know about the tragedy 25 years ago. You know about the tragedy? Sanai, Sanai and the others. Along with myself, everyone's gathered in this factory. Knows about the tragedy 25 years ago. Asami Kyotari, what is he planning now? Why did he gather the islanders to know about the tragedy? Sh Shige-san, I didn't, don't think you should say anymore. Don't stop me, Sanai-san. I have already decided to tell everything. The time has come to atone for the crimes of 25 years ago. Crimes of t crimes of 25 years ago? Person keyword has been updated. Kumara Shigesu. Person keyword has been updated. Taichibana Sanai. Hey, Shigi and Sanai-san. Hey, someone's coming. He is one of us, one of the islanders I just told you about. Shige and Sanai-san, what are you doing here? Huh? That kid! Mister, the janitor at the hotel. Hmm, someone you know again? Uh, yeah, him we met at the hotel on Twilight Island. Sakanu, Sakanui Daisuke, man acting as janitor at Hotel Rohash. I didn't expect you to be here. And, uh, who are these two? I'm Kinaichi Hajim. Hey, uh. I'm Kemoji Isamu from police headquarters. You are from headquarters? These two stayed at my inn. They were spirited away, but we're meeting again here. Uh, anyway, these people aren't dangerous. No, they're okay. I can guarantee it. Let's continue what we were talking about. Shigesan, you said you would tell the truth and atone for the crimes of 25 years ago? Yeah, I need to hear about that. What's the whole truth? What are these crimes? Mr. Policeman, I want to hear more about what you were saying earlier. About the whole truth, what is it? Yes, please continue. Before that, say Sakanui's, say Sakanui's son. Everyone else is searching different parts of this factory, right? If so, could you gather everyone here? I want to tell the story with all of you present. 
Shiggy, are you really Shiggy, are you really going to tell them? You have realized already you haven't you. The reason for this case is the thing that happened 25 years ago. I can't stand it anymore. I can no longer pretend to be ignorant. I should have done this 25 years ago. That way this wouldn't have happened. Shiki-san. Okay, I'll call for everyone. Just a moment. Thank you, Sanai san A few minutes after Sunny <clears throat> a few minutes after Sunny san left the room in a hurry, she returned with several others in tow. Sorry to keep you waiting, here they are. What is it, Susanli? Something wrong, Shigesan? I heard you wanted to tell the true story, but is it about that thing? These people are the islanders who know about the tragedy. I'm sure not everyone knows each other. Let's introduce ourselves. Even in this situation, I'd, I, it would feel awkward being around strangers. Um, I guess I'll start then. I'm Kenai GRG. Hey, uh. My name is Kimoji Isamu. I'm from Police HQ. Nice to meet you all. And this boy is Conan Edugawa Conan, right? Yep, nice to meet you. Okay, now it's your turn. Now, who to ask first? Hmm. This one. I'm Su I'm Sugiyama Keitaru. I'm a Shinto priest on Twilight Island. Oh, a Shinto priest. I was on Twilight Island for a few days, but I didn't see you at all. Well, even though it's a small island, there are people there. There, and even though I'm a priest, I'm not always at the shrine. Since I retired, I'm at home most of the time. I haven't had much reason to go out recently. I see, that makes sense. Sugiyama-san, head the priest. Okay, let's remember him. Sugiyama Keitaru, one of the islanders gathered at the factory, also familiar with the tragedy 25 years ago, serves as a Shinto priest. You. I'm Kubo Tetsuya. I work as a ph ph physician on Twilight Island. Oh, a doctor. This is the first time we've met. Uh, yeah, I was busy. Due to bombings, injured people were coming in one of the other. These past few days I've constantly been attending to patients. Oh, so that's why we never met. Twilight Island's physician, Kubo-san. Okay, let's remember him. Kubo Tetsuya, one of the islanders gathered at the factory, also familiar with the tragedy 25 years ago, works as a doctor. Last one. You. I work at Twilight Island's library. My name is Kitagi Kitagawa Chi. Oh, I might have seen her when the bomb exploded in the library. Kitagawa-san, who works in the library. Got it. Kitagawa Chi. One of the islanders gathered at the factory, also familiar with the tra tragedy 25 years ago, works at the library. Alright, got it, all three of them co covered. I work at the police substation, my name is Kumara Shigisu. Everyone on the island is friendly with me, they call me Shigisu-san. He used the same introduction when we first met. That boy knows me. I'm Sakanui's Daisuke. I work as a janitor at Ruha Hotel. That's about it. Are we done introducing ourselves? Let's begin that story. I was originally going to tell Detective Mori, but with the man from HQ here telling him should be okay. Shigisan, you're really. You're really, you're really going to... Yes, I've already made up my mind to tell the real story. Oh, uh, the what? Okay. He originally don't wanted to tell the story, but then made up his mind. Alright. That's okay then. Then Kumara, 
Let's go. The the real story. Yes, about the tragedy 25 years ago. That's been hidden so long. I'm going to reveal the whole truth of what we did back then. But is it okay? If you do that, you're going to be in a bad position. I don't care about my position. Because we read in our judgment 25 years ago, these cases, cases happened. My position doesn't matter. When I tell the story, I want everyone to remember the mistakes we made in the past. And I hope you will give us the truth from, our own, from your own mouth, too. I'm talking to you, Mayor Hiyuki. What? Did he say Mayor Hiyuki? Officer, you just said Mayor Hiyuki. Yeah, I heard him too. We have kept... <clears throat> we have kept two things hidden from the other islands. Islanders. The first is what I'll explain now. The truth of 25 years ago then. The second part, Mayor Hiyuki's identity. That means you know, officer? Mayor Hiyuki's identity? Yeah, I know. Mayor Hiyuki is in here. What the heck? The islanders don't know Mayor Hiyuki's face. That was the well-known truth of that island, however. I know because we experienced the tragedy 25 years ago together. No matter if one's face changes or they end up going to, into hiding. The demeanor, 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 or demeanor and darting eyes will never lie. Those suspicious eyes watching us because we all saw it together. Those eyes reveal Mayor Hiyuki. If you knew the mayor's identity, why did you keep quiet about it? If I revealed the, revealed the mayor's identity, we'd also have to explain the truth. We were afraid due to the crime we committed. That's the main reason the mayor changed his face and hid away. Mayor Hiyuki was also afraid his own crime would be disclosed. And that there would be those who sought revenge. That's why Mayor Hiyuki disappeared from the public eye. By undergoing a transformation. That mayor is in here. Yeah. Those two who came to the island after it became a resort won't know. But someone in this group is Mayor Hiyuki. Mister, please tell us, who is Mayor Hiyuki? You'll know soon if you listen to what I'm about to tell you. However, there's no need to rush. Let me explain in order. That crime we committed 25 years ago. I'm going to explain everything right now. Uh, are you really going to say it? Yes, accept your fate and let's end this. And, huh? Let's begin. Then let's hear it. Hey, kids should stay out of this. Leave this to the adults. Damn it. Oh well. Well, I start first. Shige-san, what did you guys do 25 years ago? The tragedy of 25 years ago. What is it exactly? We plundered. What the fuck? They plundered? Why? Why? I mean, come on! You can't just do that! They probably plundered the mine, took the gold, and made everyone up upset. Plundered from who? Or from who? What? We took from this perished island its own gold. I knew it! I knew it! Man! What? That's not all. Did you know that in this island's coal mine there's a corpse? 
Yeah, I know. That was our act. The mysterious deaths of the VIPs 25 years ago in the mine collapse. We planned everything. And then we robbed gold from this island. The mayor and the VIPs did it. We tried to stop them. But it didn't stop. We just gave up at that point. We stood by and watched the atrocity atrocities. That was our grave sin. We also benefited from it. <coughs> the gold helped make Twilight Island a tourist resort. We were able to live peacefully. We even forgot what they'd done. That, that's... Everyone committed the same offense, both us and the VIPs. So, that's how it was. Starting with Mayor Hyuki, the current VIPs of Twilight Island, stole the gold from here and killed the islanders. Even though you saw what happened, you stayed silent? Yes, that's right. Which means the gold wasn't discovered on Twilight Island, but actually on Sunset Island. The tragedy of 25 years ago concerns two mayors, two major incidents here. Ichinose KG Futaba Yu, Mayor Mitsui, along with his own wife. Those bizarre deaths of the VIPs. And the mass disappearance of the island's inhabitants. In other words, the collapse of the coal mine. Wait a minute, the deaths of the VIPs 25 years ago? I hear that it happened on Twilight Island. Did the deaths actually occur on this island? There isn't death deaths. The deaths were reportedly on Twilight Island. I'll explain that in detail later. Anyway, the deaths and the coal mine collapse that occurred. The people who planned those events were us. VIP's bizarre deaths. Part of the tragedy 25 years ago. VIP's Ichinose KG, Futaba Yu, Mayor Mitsui and his wife, his wife are all died suspicious deaths. Well. I see. The bizarre deaths of the VIPs and the collapse of the mine happened here on Sunset Island. All to steal gold. But that's not all. There's still more to this story. More? Gold wasn't the only thing we took from this island. We also stole... Ah! What, what happened? It's suddenly pitch black. The lights in the factory went down. Everyone calm down, we should be able to see once our eyes adjust. Y yeah Phew! Finally, my eyes are getting used to the dark. Is everyone okay? Y yeah I'm fine. Although I was startled for, for a second, I'm fine. I'm also fine. Me too. Everyone, everything's good. But I wonder what happened. Why did the lights suddenly go out? First, we need to turn the lights back on. No time for talk. Move. A power outage. We shouldn't move around. But now let's ask about the the source of electricity here. Guys and girls, we do this the next time. But for now, I say. See you in the next part video, whatever you call, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section, ring the notification bell, see ya, you're a Bye!